What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how I'm using AI to help with B-roll. This is very different from using software that automatically pulls up stock footage or even creates AI generated B-roll. This is perfect for those who want to be a little bit more hands-on with the edit or if you're like me who's someone that likes to vlog and document everything and you want to use more original footage instead of stock footage, this is for you. Okay, so here on the screen as you guys can see, this is a video that I'm working on, currently working on for the Vision Paradox channel. I already got my initial edit, getting all the pauses and filler words out of the way, and I got the, the transcript here. So essentially, I just export the transcript into the folder, uh, the necessary folder, and here it is, boom. And what I'm going to do is you can either go to, I use Cla uh, Claude or ChatGPT. It's up to you. I do use the paid versions for that because there's a lot of use cases I'm already using it for. But essentially what I'm doing here. So here's the prompt. Which parts of this transcript do you think could potentially use B-roll? From there, just drag and drop the, the transcript. And what it'll do is already start suggesting things from you. We'll give the timestamps uh, and suggestions. And if you have the footage for it, original footage for it, cool. So it starts generating timestamps and suggestions on where, what you can do in terms of B-roll. You don't have to do all of it. Okay, so let's take a look at what it looks like on chat GPT. So we're gonna do the same prompt, drop it in there, bam. And drop that. And it'll give you the kind of a similar, you know, similar suggestions. Just for example, so this is a newsletter that's going to be going out, a newsletter video. So don't mind the edit and the ugly color grading because I have everything turned off right now. So this runs a little faster. I used this earlier when putting together something for a video newsletter that I do for my Patreon, for my dance company's YouTube. So as you can see here, there's a couple moments here. So just, let's go to the part right here discussing about the, uh, the podcast filming session. And that is right there. Us recently at the filming a podcast and then let's go to another another example so watching street man fighter this is something that we are doing they're doing reactions to and we, i just decided to put in stories instead of putting like a whole thing it, it's up to you and how you want to, appro to approach it but this is something i, I did instead for simplicity uh, because it was already ready and the files were lighter so this was I, this was just to keep this light because it's just a newsletter update this la last example talking about uh, the retreat so again this is a lot more personalized so this is not something that like a general stock footage can really do because this is from us uh, this is something i've documented and captured and that i want to use okay so this is your moments from the last retreat i'm just going to mute this which illustrates a, little, a lot more of what i'm talking about this saves me a lot of time of like me having to scrub through everything and list or even listen to everything or even go through all the transcript again and going through all of that just to find the right moments for b-roll so that essentially saves me time of having to look for the moments once this is all done i can just look for the footage i need in any of my hard drives the main reason i'm doing this is so i can start using more of the original content that we filmed as b-roll if you have the budget to use something like an opus clip that automatically creates the b-roll for you i'd say go for it because it's it's much more time efficient or if you're someone who wants to be a little bit more hands-on with the edit uh but you can use a little bit of help to find the right moments for adding b-roll I, I honestly think this would be pretty effective this just looks for the timestamps, and depending on what was discussed we'll just simply give the suggestions you can take it or leave it and I think this is definitely a good way of saving yourself some time, especially if you're someone who likes to be a little bit more hands-on with the edits. 